podcast. We are live on Periscope. There's Riley. There's Brett. You guys ready for your commencement speeches? Yeah. I mean, I, they, I, we, I contacted the president of what? the United States of... of don't ask specific questions. <laughs> you, know what, though, you guys, I want to apologize because I, as the crafty one, failed in my commencement duties because I didn't get him any flowers. Yeah, any what the hell, guys? And this is a big deal. Yeah, that's not my fault because men don't do that kind of stuff. You that's should. my excuse. Men, you men... should. Scotty? What? That's another dating rule. Next time, bring flowers. Bring flowers? I brought flowers to one of how them. How many flowers? Yeah, how many dates did you bring flowers? To? One. One out of ten? Yeah. That's not good, I don't think. No. You don't think so? I don't know if that was if a lot of them like. I don't think. Do you think first flowers, day flowers on first dates? I feel like it's like cheesy. First day flowers is cheesy. Yes, depending on where you're going though. Yeah, I just feel like you could be. You know who I brought flowers to? No. Uh, Vanessa, when I fell you asleep. Don't... That's good though. I probably had to, I came back with flowers. You know, I'd like to see people be a little bit more creative. Like for like the painting date, you should have brought her a paintbrush. A paint, a flower, a book, a bouquet of paints. Yeah, that's, that's creative. That's funny. Where were you on that? All right, there's Wiz Khalifa. It's the Power Morning Show. I'm Scotty. That's Riley. Morning. That's Brett. Uh, you know, I want to thank Amanda, who we just called, actually. We talked to her off the air for, for a second and called and uh, genuinely asked some really, really good questions about the lessons that I learned on the 10-Day Challenge and shared some of the lessons that she learned on the 10-Day Challenge, too, uh, just by listening and following along. And hopefully that's part of it. So if you feel like you want to put yourself out there and you're, you're going to go do a 10-Day Challenge and 10 different dates, 10 different people, 10 different life experiences, uh, and you, you feel free to share them with us, too. Call us, tell us about it, tweet us, whatever you want. Uh, the blog is up right right on Facebook. Yep. Uh, at uh, Power961 of one lesson from each of the 10 dates on the 10-day challenge. Now, it's time to graduate. We're going to do these com- graduation commencement speeches uh, live right now. I got it on Periscope, too. So if you're on Twitter, at PowerATL, we tweeted the link so you can see live here in the studio. as Riley and Brett. Because Scotty finally completed all 10 of them. Yay. I'm a graduate, guys! Oh, I'm a graduate! Now get a job, Scotty. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, get a get, get a date. Get a all right. So that's in my commencement speech. That's good about the job stuff. Yeah. All right, who's going first with their commitments? Commencement. Oh, Riley, of course. First? Okay, Riley okay. Couture. Scotty, first let me say congratulations on the completion of one of your biggest fears, the ten day challenge. <laughs> you managed to boldly go where most women wouldn't, at least not publicly anyway. Oh. Ten different dates with ten different women in a short span of time, and you made it out alive. You started this challenge lovesick over the one that used to be called the one that got away, but this challenge wasn't really about finding love, but finding yourself, meeting some new people, and having fun in a city that we love so much. In this journey, you learned that if you work like a madman all week and you have a date, you might want to set an alarm. You learned that double dates can be disastrous, and there are girls out there willing to jump out of a plane for you just to be in your company. It still remains to be seen whether or not she was trying to get away from you. (laughs) <laughs> Hopefully, going forward as you graduate further into the ups and downs that is dating life, you will hold on to some things that you learned and some things you already knew. When it comes to being a gentleman, be the man that chance knows you are. Hmm. The guy that opens doors and lets the lady walk on the part of the sidewalk away from the street. Make sure your friends check the dress code before you go on a double date because getting kicked out is never fun. <laughs> Not everyone you meet is your forever after, but no one can ever have too many friends. But most of all, Hold on to the fact that you are worth it and your special lady is out there. Congratulations, That's Scotty. Good. That was a really good speech. Riley Couture just crushed that. Yay. Look at that. <laughs> Brett, Megan, you want to just give up or you want to go for this? Maybe. I, don't, I mean, I have similar jokes. Would she skip mine? Uh, <laughs> at at ETL, we're uh, live periscoping in the studio with this, too. Uh, live stream video. All right, Brett. You know, I asked President Obama to come in and give a speech, and he didn't want to. I didn't understand why. He, yeah, I talked to him earlier. He's busy. Oh, okay. I said, uh, I, I, well, I started mine with greeting fellow graduates or just graduate. I took just mine very me. seriously, as you can see. As we say goodbye to the 10-day challenge, we can now take with us the memories of the hard work we put in, the planning, the prep, the all-nighters. High five, my bro! No, I'm not high five. Oh, 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 right. Come on, all nighters, you know, like you're studying. Put your hand down. Okay. All right. <laughs> the moments we all shared through the suffering Scotty taught us so much. Like, never take a nap before a date because you might just not wake up. Yep, yeah. that happened. Meeting the date's mom on a first date, well, they might be saying you're coming on too strong. It might end in an engagement ring. Yep, right. <laughs> never wear a bat suit to Chuck E. Cheese. Sometimes dating... Makes uh, women want to jump out of a plane, literally, 
And the corn dogs at the Gwinnett Brave Stadium are unmatched. That is true. That's true. They have great, true. great, great, great. Phenomenal. <laughs> but all joking aside, you taught us by putting yourself out there, and you might never know what you'll learn, especially about yourself. I think you learned that how hard it really is to date and how guarded you really have become. It's going to take a special someone to tear down those walls, make you feel like you again, that nothing comes between your work and chance, and that one day someone will have to join you in that tight circle. You taught us heartbreak. Date number one, right off the bat, you're ready to quit, give it up, and she was me and she messed with your heart, your head, and a little bit of everything. Maybe even tested friendships at times and put a, uh, the, uh, maybe even tested some of your friendships at times, like when you handed out a wristband to one of your dates instead of one of your true friends and plus ones. Oh, that did not go well. No, that did not go well. And how much those friends really do care about you? I think taking taking uh, I think during the ten day challenge you met someone some of the great people unexpectedly, blew some of them off, and even surprised yourself by forcing yourself to get out there, especially with some of the liquor. But the one thing I was really impressed was that ten women really actually wanted to date you. I was I, I was shocked. I was just totally shocked. <laughs> yeah, right? Thank you, Riley. It's not a commencement speech. It's the a lessons lot. we learned in the ten day challenge we could take with us forever. Remember, life or dating doesn't stop after the 10-day challenge. So it's not just like get a job. Maybe you can go to like graduate school, you get a no, PhD. No, 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 no. There's other there's other schools you can go to in dating. <laughs> no, you don't want to do those. No, no, no. <laughs> lots more of there's lots of ways more to expand your dating life. If there's one thing you can learn from dating is treat your treat it like your career. Jump, take a leap, have a ch take some chances, leap and trust that it will work out. Like you like you always say, it always does. Be yourself. And if you can't be yourself, just be Batman. Be Batman. Nailed it with the that Batman. That worked out, with, you know, when you were Batman at Chucky. Yeah. People were digging that, man. Yeah. Thank you, Brett Mega, everybody. Yay, Brett. Guest speech, or at, speech at the 10-day challenge. Graduation! <laughs> so, uh, Nobody what, brought me flowers. What is your pl what's your plans after graduation? Drink until I'm dead. <laughs> That's what people do. I don't know. Is no. that is that the case? Well, I think you should go to graduate school or I PhD. I think you should get married. I oh, think. Married. What? <laughs> Would you propose any of the ten? Yes. Let's go. Uh, we're gonna Alex, get you. In. Yes. We're gonna get you uh, some tickets. Do we have more tickets? Let's give. I'm just no, we don't with, have any. Distract them with something. Let's get tickets. Uh, no. All right. So the the I did learn a lot, and there's a lot of the lessons are all up. Uh, at least one of them from each date online at Power ninety six one on Facebook. Uh, one of the biggest things I think it is is uh, is uh, I think Brett nailed it too. It's jump. Live your life with that curiosity. Uh, you don't know what you might learn until you learn it. So don't shut off, man. Don't shut off. Go ahead and uh, put yourself out there. It's the Power Morning Show. Thanks for hanging out, Power ninety six one. And uh, let me just, I'm gonna this button here. Never getting played again. <laughs> We're proud of you. Are you gonna post these? These features don't.